video, I will be showing you my 2019 makeup and skincare favorites. So if you want to know what they are, just keep on watching. <laughs> Usually, I would separate my skincare from makeup, but I decided to just put them all together since parang kwanti lang naman yung skincare favorites ko. So I'm gonna start with skincare. So I'm gonna start with what I do first to what I do last. For the first step of my skincare routine, it is always to cleanse my face. So my favorite cleanser this year is the Song By Me Miracle Acne Clear Foam Cleanser. This is actually empty already and I still haven't repurchased it just because there are a cleansers na back up. But from all the cleansers I've tried this year, this is the one that parang nakita ko talaga may difference sa skin ko. Like, I think most of the time na ito yung ginagamit ko, wala akong breakouts masyado. So, yeah, I really love this. I used to use this day and night. It says it's for acne care, deep cleansing, and exfoliation. Tapos, this is good for acne-prone skin. And for me, pwede din to for sensitive skin like mine. I also want to mention another skincare favorite that I don't have with me right now. Kasi naubos ko na siya and I didn't keep the packaging. It is the Garnier Micellar Water. I really love that because it helps remove my makeup. And also, it's one of the micellar waters na hindi siya nag sit sa face ko. Yung parang hindi siya, hindi mo siya mafe-feel sa face mo after using it. So, I really love that. For toner, I really love the Song By Me Miracle Toner. So, another Song By Me product. This was sent to me, but this is not sponsored. Pa ubus ko na siya. I really love this one just because it is perfect for my sensitive skin. Hindi siya stinging at all. And if you use this consistently, you will see a difference on your skin. So, I use this every night. This says it has real tea tree, so that's probably why it prevents blemishes on my skin or it helps um, reduce them. To be honest, sometimes I am lazy in using my toner, so instead, I just use my fresh Jeju Aloe Eyes Face and Body Mist. So, this acts as my toner and moisturizer. Sometimes when I am lazy, pero ito siya, as you can see, I only have a few left. Even my sister uses this kasi gustong gusto niya to. Sobrang hydrating. I use this sometimes before makeup or after makeup and I use this before I go to sleep just to freshen up my face and all that. This one naman I love because it has a cooling effect and it also moisturizes my face. So, yeah. I really like this one. For my moisturizer, alam nyo naman yung favorite, favorite ko. It is the Eye White Aqua Moisturizer. And this one, I haven't repurchased. I think ginamit ko lang to at the beginning of the year, nung paubos na siya. And for the second half of the year, what I've been loving and still am loving is the M Plus Cream from Caris. It looks like this. I know parang ang dami pa niyang laman, pero for me kasi a little goes a long way. For me, this is a really thick moisturizer, so if I use too much, it just feels heavy on my skin. Konti-konti lang yung ginagamit ko dito para parang enough lang talaga siya sa skin ko. So, I just get a dot and then put it all over my face. Tapos, um, I just spread it all over my face and then okay na siya. It moisturizes my skin so, so much. I only use this at night kasi nga deep moisturizing shop. It's actually on sale right now in my shop. Usually this is 1,000 pesos but you can get it now until January 1 for only 700 pesos. For makeup removers naman, yun nga yung sinabi ko, yung Garnier Micellar Water. I don't have that right now so what I use is a cleansing balm which I wouldn't consider my 2019 favorite because I think November ko lang siya trinay. So um, if ever maubos ko siya, I'll tell you in my aunties video if I'm gonna repurchase it or not. But yung usually ginagawa ko kasi is cleanser to remove my makeup or makeup wipes. My makeup wipe na favorite is the Argan Oil from Pure Derm. But I don't have that right now. I'm using the charcoal one but I really like the Argan Oil better. You know that I love waterproof mascara so what I really like using is the Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover. So this one I bought in Taiwan. You can also purchase this online. Nakakatulong talaga to mag-remove ng waterproof mascara or waterproof eyebrow makeup. And yeah, this is another favorite of mine. This replaced my Tude House kasi ilang years ko na ginagamit yun. 
And yeah, may replacement na ako, pero ito din mahirap hanapin. Lastly, for skincare, it is a lip balm. So I'm not sure if it's skincare or makeup, pero my favorite lip balm of all time, it is the Classic Carmex Moisturizing Lip Balm. It looks like this. And as you can see, sobrang paubos na yung lip balm na to. I'm surely gonna purchase this. This is like the only lip balm that works for my lips. Any other lip balm, I've tried Burt's Bees, I've tried Vaseline. Kahit ano pang lip balm, ito lang talaga yung nag-work. Kasi whenever I use lip balms, moisturizing siya at first. Pero after a while, your lips are gonna peel. And I don't like that feeling. Pero this one talaga, nagmo-moisturize lang talaga yung lips ko. Like, when I wake up, wala na yung lip balm moisturized pa yung lips ko. Parang ito talaga yung holy grail lip balm ko. Kasi I used to really have bad chapped lips. But after using this, that never happens anymore. Those are all my skincare favorites. Now we move on to makeup, which I have right here in this basket. And first step to my makeup routine is primer. So to be honest, I don't use primer every time I wear makeup. Like now, I'm not wearing any primer. But whenever I do this year, um, it's yung favorite ko na na discover ko. This is the Trish Cosmetics Whip Tinted Primer, um, with SPF 50. It looks like this. Um, it just has a pump like that. I don't know if you can see. This one I feel like is similar to a skin tint kasi nga tinted primer siya. So I feel like you can wear this alone but usually I don't wear this alone. So it looks like that. It looks like a skin tint kasi nga skin tone siya or tinted primer siya. The reason why I really like this primer is because it reminds me so much of the Benefit Professional. Don't get me wrong, mas maganda pa din ang Benefit Professional kesa dito pero Parang same sila ng consistency and same rin sila ng ginagawa. Like, it smoothens my face before makeup and it also helps make my makeup last longer. Pero for this one, um, at first, makikita nyo parang ang patch niya tignan. Pero pag blinen mo siya ng maayos and basta kailangan patient ka lang talaga, makikita nyo parang similar lang talaga yung effect niya sa benefit. If nagtitipid talaga ako, ito na lang yung bibilin ko for primer. But usually, I don't use primer. Now, for my base makeup, if you know me, I don't like wearing heavy makeup. So, I don't wear foundation at all. Only sometimes when I really have to. But, like, for events or, like, family gatherings, when I want to be put together, yung ginagamit ko is a skin tint. I really like skin tints because, yun nga, ayoko yung heavy na makeup. So, this one is, like... Light makeup lang talaga siya. Perfect for my whole face. Um, I just put a couple of dots and it evens out my skin tone. I just like wearing skin tints for my events. But usually for my everyday makeup, um, I just put concealer. For my concealer, I've been really loving the Clio Kill Cover Concealer for more fuller coverage. Because my time na marami hong breakouts tapos ang lala and ang hirap i-cover up yung Kill Cover yung ginagamit ko. Pero nakita nyo naman, para expired na yon and tinapon ko na. So, um, what I use instead is the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is another concealer that is um, like medium to full coverage. I like it more on my under eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. And this really just brightens up my skin and also covers up my under eyes. Next is for my powder. And this is actually a foundation, but I use this as my powder. What I really love about this is that it's dual purpose because you can use the sponge for heavier coverage as your foundation. Or what I do sometimes, or most of the time actually, um, I just use a powder brush and just um, powder all over my face. Yung parang imatify lang talaga yung face ko. So that's what I really like about this. I have the option to use this as my foundation or use it as my powder. Next products are for blush, highlight, and bronzer. So I actually have a few products to talk about. And I'm gonna start off with a palette that has all three, which is the Caroline Glow Getter Contour Blush and Highlight Palette. Grabe, Caroline is really stepping up their game this year. And I feel like in 2020, mas madami pa silang i-release na mas magandang products. And one of the best releases that they had this year, I feel like. And I think not a lot of people... Um, talk about this. I really love all the shades. I feel like these are all really perfect for my skin tone and I feel like any skin tone would really suit this like especially the blush and the highlight but for the bronzer, maybe for darker skin tone, hindi nila magugustuhan. 
yung wish ko lang sana meron pa sila ibang shades na to. Maybe in the future they're gonna release more shades for this. I really like the pigmentation of this. It only costs 275. The downside to this is that it's kind of powdery, but I feel like I can handle that. Yung favorite ko before na bronzer was the Vice Cosmetics one. I think that's what I mentioned last year, and I still use that. But um, ito another bronzer na I really like using is the one from this palette. So I also have a few blushes here. I also discovered the BLK Intense Color Blush. This is in the shade Sun Kissed. It is just a really nice peach color. I really like this. Kahit it's so powdery, sobram powdery nito yun lang yung downside. Pero sobram pigmented nito, like a little goes a long way. I know I've been raving so much about my ColourPop blush, but I think I had that like two years, and that's what I mentioned last year, if I'm not mistaken, for my 2018 favorite. So I'm not mentioning it this year. Pero ito talaga yung parang na discover ko this year na gusto gusto ko. Another favorite um, is not a powder blush, but it is a cream blush. It is the airbrush from Sunny's face, and this is in the shade Disco. Um, it is a bit too bright. Um, I don't use this as much anymore than I used to, just because um, bright nga siya na color and it's so pigmented. I wish I had the peach one instead, para parang everyday color talaga. Pero if you're a fan of cream blushes, sobrang ganda talaga nung sa Sunny's face. I have sore throat right now. Sorry. Caroline also released a multi pot similar to this, but I really like this better because of the pigmentation. And what I really like about this is that it also has a mirror. So it's really nice, it's compact, and it's multi purpose. You can use it on your lips, on your eyes, and on your cheeks. For highlight naman, yung favorite favorite ko this year is the Blythe Cosmetics one. It has three shades. This is so similar to my Skin Potions one. And I like this better than my Skin Potions one because I know I can use all the shades here. And I think dun sa 2018 favorites ko yung Skin Potions yung mentioned ko. So, yun, I still love that, pero... This is super similar. I really like this for my eyeshadow and if you want a really blinding highlight, ito talaga yung magandang maganda. I feel like I'm not mentioning all of my 2019 favorites just because yung iba na ubus ko na and I forgot what products I used to use before. Pero ito talaga yung mga nakita ko sa collection ko na hanggang ngayon ginagamit ko and this year ko talaga sila nakuha. Next is for my eyeshadow and I don't normally purchase eyeshadow palettes or any eyeshadow. Um, so um, whenever I wear eyeshadow, what I use is either my contour shade or kunwari, ito ginagamit ko for my eyeshadow and also the highlight. So usually yun yung mga ginagamit ko so I don't have like a straight up palette to show you. But um, like a cream eyeshadow I've been loving is the... Blythe Starlight Eyes, yung Blythe Cosmetics. Sobrang ganda nito. Whenever I wear this, I get a lot of compliments and this is just the best one. I used to love the Maybelline 24-hour tattoo eyeshadow, yung cream eyeshadow nila, pero they don't sell that anymore and it just reminds me of this one so much. It's a doe foot applicator and it's so easy to apply kasi ginaganan ko lang siya. So, this is in the shade Pegasus, and I really want to buy more shades of this. Whenever I want something glittery and something that's gonna make my eyes pop, I like yung parang ganto, yung glittery eyeshadow. Next is for eyeliner, and I remember discovering this um, nung December pa. I got this in December, and I feel like I should get rid of this now because it's been a year. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. Sobrang pigmented pa din niya. I really like this eyeliner because I remember I used to hate putting on eyeliner. But when I discovered this, it made it so much easier for me. And I really like the pigmentation. Kitang kita niya naman. Sobrang black na black pa. And you can make a thick and thin line with this one. Kasi look at the tip. If you can see the tip, it's so pointy. And parang you can make like a really thick line like that or a thin line. So, one of the best products talaga for me sa Benefit is their eyeliner. If you want something affordable, get the Caroline one or no, mas gusto pala yung sa Maybelline. Um, I think it's called the Hyper Incliner. But after a while kasi, nasisira yung ano niya. 
yung felt tip niya. Pero this one, ang tagal-tagal ko nang ginagamit. Hindi pa rin siya nasasira. As in, ang smooth pa din ng line niya. And it doesn't even bleed on my eyes. Next is for eyebrows. Um, I only have brow pencils. I have two favorites. I have an expensive one and an affordable one. And I know you know this because I've been using these two in my videos for so long. So, yung expensive one is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This is where I started using brow pencils. This made me love doing my eyebrows. The first time I got this, I actually gave it to my friend because I hate doing my brows. But when I got it for the second time, I tried it and I love it. And now, meron akong isa pang backup for me. Kasi sobrang ganda na tong eyebrow pencil. And I feel like I can go back to other eyebrow pencils. Um... It just has a really fine tip and um, I don't like yung angled tip talaga. Ito lang talaga yung classing brow pencil na gusto kong gamitin from now on. Since this is so pricey, I've been looking for like dupes for this and buti na lang um, binili ng boyfriend ko yung um, Sunny's face. Kasi I've been meaning to buy this since yun nga, um, I've been looking for something similar to the shape of this eyebrow pencil, yung gantong tip. And yung Sunny's face is super similar, but the downside is sobrang dali niya maputol. Like, ito yung ginagamit ko today. And dalawang beses siya naputol. So, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase this. I might try the Vice Cosmetics one or just stick with my Benefit one. So, feeling ko naputol lang pag naluluma. Pero this one, kahit bago, ang bilis niya maputol. So, yun lang. Kasi sobrang nipis nga. Um, madali siyang maputol. Yun lang yung downside. So, you have to be careful. So, I really like these brow products because I have thick brows. So, I just need a little bit of filling in. And the shape of these are really perfect because it just gives me small brush strokes to add to my brows. And I really love these because they both have spoolies at the end. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Dapat mention ko to when I mentioned my skin tint. But I've been really loving the Anakai um, all covered sponges. I have the black one. I already threw out my pink one just because sobrang dominion na. And even if I clean it, um, like sustain pa din siya. And I think you are, you're only supposed to have these for a few months as well. Like every six months lang ata. But yeah, I think I'm gonna throw this also because I have a backup anyway. I know a lot of you already know my favorite mascaras and usually it's a benefit one yung bad girl bang or yung the real if not the benefit one um you know i love the maybelline hyper curl mascara so it's either those three but this year what i've discovered are these two for my top lashes yung gusto ko is yung BLK Volume Plus Lash Extension Mascara. Uh, mas gusto pa din yung Benefit or yung Maybelline. But for now, this works for me. It helps keep my lashes curled and it also separates my lashes. So this is also really nice. But I really want to try the mini one because they say it's better than this. And parang nakita ko siya and similar lang yung brush niya. This has been a really good mascara for me because it's just perfect for every day. Then for bottom lashes naman, yung nagugusan ko talaga is yung Caroline Skinny Mascara. Um, this is really a game changer. Um, I used to hate putting mascara on my lower lashes because if you use like a normal mascara, it's just smudge lang siya sa lower lashes mo. But um, finally, Caroline came out with a skinny mascara that is actually for your bottom lashes. So, yan. Sobrang skinny niya. Hindi nyo man lang makita yung brush niya. Sobrang ganda nito if you're just doing a natural makeup look. Um, no eyeshadow at all. Tapos, mascara on your upper and lower lashes. And it just makes your eyes pop. So, really nice combo for this year. Next are lip products. And I have four lip products to talk about. No, five lip products to talk about. And, yeah. Um, first is a lipstick that I have been loving. It is the Blythe Cosmetics Stellar Satin Lips. Ito siya. Sobrang ganda ng kulay na to. Sobrang natural lang. I really, really love this. This is in the shade Juliet. This is my go-to lipstick because it's like a perfect My Lips Book Better shade for me. I'm not gonna talk about the products too much because I've mentioned it before in other videos. Next is for liquid lipstick. 
alam nyo naman sa top 5 favorite liquid lipsticks ko, yung sinabi ko is yung Colourpop and it still is. It's still my go-to liquid lipstick. Since sobrang hirap hanapin ng Colourpop, I feel like a close do for this that is available in the Philippines is the Izzy & Co. Cosmetics na liquid lipstick. I know they have like a pop-up store. I don't know where exactly. But you can also find this in Shopee. That's where I bought mine. So, yon. If you want something similar to the Colourpop, I would say Izzy & Co. is super similar and I feel like it's a bit better. I just have to try it more. I've only tried this twice, I think. And... Super, super love this talaga. I just don't want to mention it for this video sana kasi December ko lang to ginamit. Pero sobrang ganda talaga nito. This is in the shade Saint Tropez and this is in the shade Zuma. They're not similar colors but these are the colors I have. I've been really loving velvet tints. I have one from Sunny's Face and BLK. Nakita nyo naman yung top 5 lip tints ko. And yung BLK yung mention ko. So this is really just perfect for multi-purpose use for your eyes, for your cheeks, and for your lips. And same with Sunny's Face. They released a velvet tint as well. So I have the shade Girl Crush. This is in the shade As If. Sobrang ganda lang talaga nito kasi ang dadali nilang i-blend. They don't last as long but they really look good on your face. For water tint naman, yung nagustuhan ko talaga is yung Happy Skin Kiss and Bloom Water Lip and Cheek Tint. I just really love this for my cheeks and for my lips. This is the best lip tint I've tried so far, yung Happy Skin. Um, it is a bit drying on the lips. I just really love the color on my lips and it lasts long and it just gives you a really nice wash of color. So this is in the shade Prim, which is my favorite. So that is it for my 2019 favorite product. Sorry if this video is too long, but I really wanted to mention all of my favorite products from this year. And I hope I gave you some product recommendations that you will love to try. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below what else you want to see, especially for my 2020 content. Let me know. Um, I'm planning to change things up, so I hope you'll enjoy my videos more. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next year, January 2020. Bye! Thanks for watching!